know. That's why you have that like yeah. release pull. So, okay. So we gotta find a different way. Yeah. One, let's start with the same way you do it to see if we can modify it a little bit. So don't pick out something so far away from you. If I gave you a one foot putt or a five foot putt that was foot. dead straight, what one would you yeah, rather have, right? Foot, yeah. Okay. Because it's easier to aim and hit it over that spot, right? Or hit it in the hole. So you're gonna pretend like you have a one foot putt and then pick your mark. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. That's way more than a foot. Uh, That's well, way more than a foot. Okay. <laughs> Man, your gimme is on the golf course, must be. Yeah. <laughs> Never punted a four footer in your life. Inside the, inside the leather. <laughs> inside the leather? It's still too far. It's not inside the leather. Look at this. Yeah. Okay. Right here somewhere. Oh, we measure inside the leather like this. Holy cow. <laughs> Man, you're inside the leather. It's totally different. <laughs> You guys giving each other three footers. Oh, I need to play with you guys. <laughs> okay, I'll take that for now. Go for it. Okay, yeah, you're aimed properly now. That's good. So go for it. I live with that. Yeah, you can live with that one. Okay, now let's try and see if we can get it twice. On this one, I want you to go through your whole pre-shot routine just like you do on the golf course. Just like we were gonna be out there playing. And Bill just hit a real nice one. Plugged it tight. Yeah. Better. Yeah, but it's not at the target. It's not at the target. Okay. <sighs> Last thing I'm gonna do. Uh, it's in my. Is it my feet or is, I, I'm just? Do I need to set the club down? At the yeah, target? yeah. That's what we're gonna go over first. Yeah, okay. So are you? Do you know if you're right eye or left eye dominant? What way you shoot a gun? Right. So yeah. rifle. Yeah. You close yeah. your left eye. Left shoot eye, right shoot eye. Right. Okay. All right. So what we want to do. Can you shoot a gun decent? <laughs> yeah, <I'm scared>. yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the problem too. Well, I can shoot a shotgun really good, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, um, all right, so what you're going to have to do is walk in right hand, uh -huh. right foot. Right okay. hand, right foot. Yeah, so what you're looking for is pick out your spot, so put your right hand on it, and then your right foot's going to be behind the golf ball. Like this. So okay. You open up your view. All right. Set your club down first, and then set your body to your golf club. Golf club. That should tighten it up just that last little bit. Hopefully. Hey, how about that? wasn't much for the golf swing, but the, did you feel really off with the alignment? Did that feel weird to you? It felt like I was left of the target. Yeah, you weren't. You were huh? at it. Yeah. Because it's going to feel left. It felt like I was right? left of the target. So you have to remember this is the most important thing. This is the, yeah. this is the gun barrel. That's the bullet, right? So when you're coming in here, check your, you know, wherever your spot is. Set your club face and then leave it and set as square as you can to it. Your thing is you just kind of wander your feet around, you wind up moving that golf club. Mm -hmm. So set this stays still. still. Just like if you were going to make a one foot putt. If you were making a one foot putt, you would come in here and you wouldn't even care so much about where your feet were aimed. You just care that the club face is 
came through the target, mm -hmm. right? So you'd come in here and you'd set it just like you were making a one foot putt. That's what you need to think of. Don't think so much out there right now. You think, oh, I'm going to hit it over that mark and then see where your body lines up. But I think you look up and you start wandering around trying to get a feel and that is not working. We gotta find a way to do this. Okay. So it needed to be up here. Where's your mark? Well, I, I was right here. Be more was. specific. Right here on the edge of this. Okay. I right mean, that's the problem. Here. That's the last. That's at it. That's good. Right there. Oh. Would have hit it at it. That was better. So you're just acting like you're just making a one foot putt, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the one thing I will say is I think on the one that you aim left, yeah, I don't think your mark was very specific. So, I mean, it has to be like a blade of grass that you're trying to hit it over the edge of the blade of the grass. So the, the actual ratio or the dispersion is Every degree, one degree at 100 yards is four yards offline. Yeah. So you have to be really, really specific to start to where you don't wander offline too much. That's better. Nope, nope, your feet are wandering. Your club face is good. <laughs> Not that Worse. Way. Go the way? There. Yeah, you're. It's like you're not setting your feet square to your... Yeah. There you go. That's perfect right there. You got it. You made a good swing. That was it. Hmm. I just think you're so... Okay, just appease me for a second. Because some people are like, this is actually... This is the way I actually do it. So, some people are like, I won't give you the exact name. It's non-linear and linear people. But, so, some people actually just align in there without looking at anything. Mm -hmm. So let's try this. So you're gonna stay looking at your target the entire time. And then you're gonna take a line and trace back to your club face. Some people can actually do this, then set in there and go. Let's see what that looks like. But I really don't like this spot aiming for you. I don't think it's right. You're having too much of a tough time with it. Again. Oh, not bad. No, that's great. <laughs> so you want him to set up? I sort actually, of... let's see if we can do this twice. Okay. Yeah, but, but what, <laughs> but draw the line see, see what he's ball. doing is what I do. Job. Yeah. Not everybody can do that. That's how I. That's the way I do it, and I do not teach it that way because it's like ten percent of people. Maybe I don't actually know the percentage, but it's out of all my lessons, mm -hmm. I'd say one in. It might be less than one in twenty can do it this way. Try it again. Move the ball. I'm yeah. not going to give you the same <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, Lordy.
Fire away, boss. You're good. Yeah. And that freed him up, too. You notice how much yeah. more free the golf swing Yep. Yeah. So usually when people actually feel like they're aligned properly, they will they, their golf swings get better instantly because yep. they're comfortable. Yep. So that's the way you need to align. You stare at the target and then walk in. This is actually very, very similar in putting. So there's linear people and there's non-linear people. I happen to mean non-linear. Um, you are non-linear as well, but usually people are ball striking more and more linear as in like hit it over a little spot in front of them. You are not. You need to trace that target back to your golf club. And then that's, that's go the way, and that's the way I am too. I put looking at the hole. Yeah, exactly. So you're a non-linear putter. You trace, you, you go into that and use that in your ball striking as well. I'm the same way. So I can relate to this. Yeah. So this is, uh, that, that's how you need to align yourself. You were golden. You were off every single time you picked the spot. It was off. It wasn't off by much, right. but it was off enough. Yeah. You are just spot on every mm -hmm. both times we did that. So you do that with every club in your bag, every target. Perfect. You want to watch me with my driver? Sure. I'll, I'll watch. Right with well, I want to give I, you I, the next the lesson I've got, huh? since I, I'm with him all the time. 